Hello everyone, I'm the developer for the Arctic Analyst app and today I'm going to show you how to get the stats widget into your stream. So that's the uh, stuff you can see in the top left and top right of your screen right now. Uh, it's a browser source and you can very easily add it to your stream using any sort of OBS software or whatever you're using. So uh, let's just jump into OBS and I'll show you how to set it up. Alright, so here we are in Streamlabs. Uh, I'm going to show you it in my version of Streamlabs. It, the process should be very similar in all other uh, OBS streaming software. Um, if it's not exactly at the same location, the settings, it should at least have the same name. So just look, have a look around or Google it. it you should be able to figure it out. You're a smart cookie. What you need to do is add a source and, we're, and it's going to be a browser source. At that source, create a new one. I'm going to call this one R6A Stats Widget. And you'll need to select a local file. Now this will be wherever you have the location set in the settings in the app. By default, that's the desktop. Select the stats at HTML, open it. Make the width the same width as the size of your stream. For the mo if, if you're streaming in 1080p, that would be 1920. And the height doesn't really matter, but I like to set it at 100. Um, don't go lower than 100, but uh, yeah, you can keep it larger if you want to. Um, the rest of the settings you can keep as default, close it out, and there it is. You got it on screen. Now I have my in-game HUD set to 90 instead of 100, so I'd have to move the uh, widget down a little bit. Um, I can just use arrow keys or you can drag it around obviously as well. Um, uh, but yeah, if you want a pixel perfect, you're going to have to move it around a little bit and see. And that's it. It works automatically. Uh, any of the settings to customize, you'll find in the game. So if I go back into the game here in the app under streaming, and then if we scroll down to stats widget, you can turn on and off which ones you want to show. You can change the colors. So let's say I want it in pink instead. How often it loops. Let's say I want it to be a little bit slower. And there we go. If we now go back out to the Streamlabs, you'll see the changes occur the next time the stats refresh, which should be right about now. And that's um, pretty much it. So again, the location for where the widget files are is right over here. I've set it to a folder on my desktop. Uh, you can change it to be whatever you want. And then the actual settings for the stats widget are in this section over here. You can turn on specific uh, stats, turn them off, change the colors to be the in-game team color. So that would be red and blue or blue and red by default, uh, blue and orange, whatever you have set to in-game. Uh, you can invert it so it's the wrong way around, or you can turn it to the R6 Analyst pink, the default pink color of the app. So the stats looping time would be how many seconds a particular set of stats is visible before it switches to the next set of stats. And then the R6A branding setting is a premium only setting, which allows you to show where the set where the R6 Analyst app um, icon is located or even turn it off completely um, if you, again, need to pay for premium to get that setting. And that's it. I hope you can figure it out. If you cannot, uh, just set a comment under this video. I'll see it and I'll reply. Uh, if you're working with different software, then I'll try and help you out. Um, but please do Google it first. Just Google the name of your software, how to uh, add a browser source, and you should find plenty of material uh, that can help you set things up. Um, it's a, a very uh, basic aspect of a lot of streaming software. So uh, unless you're using some really out there software, it should be relatively easy to do. That's it. Hope you have a nice day. Good luck. Have fun.